What's up guys and welcome back to the Splatoon single player series and today I'm 12 and I like memes. Actually, that's not what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to be going to the shops and having a shopping spree and spending 5,291 coins that we have gathered on the online series. But let's go ahead and go into here. So this is Mr. Schumann. What's good, Squiddo? Glad to see you here in the Shrimp Kicks. <laughs> You're looking pretty slick there. <laughs> Somebody's been battling, am I right? Maybe, I mean, I've been very seriously battling ever since you just showed me the door. Just so you know, all the stuff I'm selling comes with abilities attached. No extra charge, that would be good. If you don't know about abilities, just press home and check out the manual, you heard? I will. I will indeed, so we need to get ourselves some sick kicks. We gotta get something cool. Um, can I preview these? Oh uh, yeah, I can like do this. Ooh, ah, oh no, actually they're not so great. Wait, Ooh, okay, oh they are great. <laughs> oh man, there is so much style to this game. Oh, I see, this is crazy. Is this all he has right now though? Hmm, I gotta go with these. Look at those, ooh, the tongue and everything. That, that's just the best out of the group right now. We're gonna grab these. Uh, Krusty Sean, you gonna buy it? Yeah, well, no, that's what he was saying. It's not that this shoe is called the Krusty Sean. They're called the White Seahorses. Let's buy these up for now, just so we can get a taste of um, buying new stuff and seeing how it looks and seeing the uh, business for it. It's going to be nice and helpful. Nice doing business with you, the equip on the, okay, yeah, we know exactly how to do that. So we're gonna head out now. We're gonna go to each store and buy at least one item so that we can know what it does and we can, you know, sort of just get the lay of the land with that kind of stuff. So let's go into this store now. Okay, Jelly Fresh thanking you, thanking your visit by Jalonzo's gloves to become full of the confidence. Abilities are being inside of the gear items. Information is living in the manual. Press home for reading, yes. Okay then, so he sells shirts, and looks like pretty cool ones. So let's see what he has. He has this one, and then this one. These are pretty cool, they're pretty stylish. Uh, hmm. Ooh, I like the stripes. I mean, I'm Zebra, I love the stripes. I think we gotta go with this. If they could get a black and white for it, I wish we could sort of customize these and change some of the basic colors. We gotta go with the stripes for now, the Zebra-tastic stripes. I mean, green is my favorite color, so it'll work for now. We will be equipping it for now. Thanks for the buying, and green goes with orange pretty well, so there we go. And then we're going to head out right now, and then we're gonna go to the next shop. This is working out pretty well. We should be able to do this nice and fast, and then move on to the new world. As you guys may know that we finished the first boss of the first area in the last episode so let's go in here and this should be where we find some headgear oh hello so welcome to cooler heads feel free to um look around if you want well all the gear here has you know abilities and stuff if you want to know more you could press home and look at the manual if you're into that sort of thing those are alert! Oh, jeez! Why would I ever go back to a store that insults me? So we can get some nice headgear here. <laughs> this hat looks awesome. I love green like that. But uh, okay, I thought they were gonna look cooler than they do. I don't really like these. Um, meh. I don't really like hats like that. But ooh, I love this. This is cool. This is cute too. Oh man. Oh, there. The, and the green that goes with it is just so good. I think that's why it's um why the shirt is green is because her hair is green. So it just sort of has that color coding, except for the shoes, which are just orange. But, uh, I can't, I can't decide, they all look cool. Can I just, I'll buy these for now. Yeah, I'm buying, I'll buy it. You'll equip it? Yeah. All right, then thanks them a lot. You, you know you can tap equip on the blah, blah, blah and do the blah, blah, blah. You'll be back. Oh, of course I will if we can keep on getting hats like these. We're looking wildly stylish right now. Now let's get ourselves a weapon. Okay, so I don't know what weapons we can get that actually affects story mode, if they do at all. We're about to find out, really. Ooh, there was a sniper rifle on that table. I want that. Hello, hello, let me guess. You're looking for some new weapons. Then you've come to the right place. Our weapons come in sets. A main weapon on ZR, a sub weapon on R, and yes, a special weapon. Sounds complicated? Well, don't worry. You can always press Y to try out any of my products before buying. And if you want more info on sub-weapons and special weapons, just press home and read the manual. 
No problem. You're looking fairly fresh. Thank you. I've been styling myself out all day. Yes, I think you have what it takes to wield my splatter shot. Go on, give it a try. On um, ah, the classic splatter shot. It's a modified version of a weapon that was used in the great turf wars of old. When this weapon made a splash with the fresh kids, it helped popularize the turf wars we know today. The full auto splatter shot, burst bombs, and bomb rush. Special make it a great choice for any situation. Whether you're a newbie or a bro, learn to use this set effectively, and you'll be forced to be a force to reckon with. Nice. And that's not all. You are also ready to wield the splat roller. The splat roller represents the roller class of weapons useful for close combat and also inking turf. The ZR for Tap ZR to fling at foes or hold it down to ink the ground as you run. Rollers began as unofficial weapons but became so popular that they're now an officially recognized style. The, the included suction bombs in Killer Whale are powerful too, so this is a great set to learn the roller ropes. Okay, so we're learning a lot here, and that's not all. Okay, so we're just learning more and more. I'm gonna get back to you guys after we figure out about this. Oh, okay, so it looks like he is, in family-wise, the owner of the blueprints, where did you find them? Let me see those quickly. With these blueprints and my slightly above average intellect, I'll be able to expand my product line. Okay, cool, so I guess the more scrolls we get, the more cool stuff we'll get. Woo, weapon creation successful. If only Grandpappy were here to see his work come to life. Oh, wait a minute. His Grandpappy is still alive. You know that, right? That, that, I just connected those dots. That's his grandpappy, Sheldon's grandson of the grand dude. <laughs> but I still have to pay rent here, you understand. As you know, I can't let anyone handle my wares without a proper level and, of course, payment. Let's see, at your current level, you can buy the custom Splattershot Jr. I took my inspiration from this weapon from a strange liquid that was stuck to my grandpappy's blueprints. <laughs> its main weapon is just like the Splattershot Jr., but this one lets you weaken your foes with disruptors. Oh, that's cool. It also comes in an echo lo locator. Echo locator, so rally your team behind and charge into the fray. All right, then, there's some cool stuff going on right now we got a ton of stuff going on, like all the stuff we can buy eventually. That is the custom splatter shot. No, this is the splatter shot junior that I already have. So let's uh, go all the way back to the left and see what we can get. Then we get the splatter shot, the custom splatter shot junior, the uh, splat roller, the splat charger, and the tentacex splatter shot. Let's just get a splatter shot for now, just so that we have something a little different, a little more, you know, out there. Let's equip it too, and then we have enough money to buy something else, so we will buy this as well. Now I do not know if we can actually use this in the story mode, so I feel like that's something we should try out right now. All right then. You already have that weapon, whoops, okay. Uh, let's head out then. So finally, we can also talk to Mr. Person over here. Now, my throat's been getting a little worse because I'm getting sick, so I hope I can still do this accent. Let's try it. What's happening, mate? <laughs> Probably not. Now, who are you then? You a cop? Nah, you too fresh to be a cop. But you know who would make you even, I can't do that. <laughs> even fresher, someone else's gear. That's where all spy comes in. You even see a bloke strolling around the plaza in some right fresh gear that you fancy yourself. Just walk up to that bloke, check him out with A, and then press X to uh, order their gear from me. Are you gonna take it from them? <laughs> I can't guarantee I'll get your gear with the same abilities, but it'll look just as fresh. Trust me, love. Right then, I'll be waiting for your order. Okay then, interesting. Not sure really what that's about, so I guess we can sort of just snag other people's style and clothing. So if we see somebody really good looking, or snagging that up, we can just be like, you're mine, you're mine. <laughs> okay then, so let's head back into the story now. All right then, so before we head on to area number two, we still have more to do. The rhyming is real. Why don't we upgrade some of our stuff here? We got the ink ta tank, the splat bombs. Let's, um, we can unlock some stuff for 100 too. Uh, burst bombs explode as soon as they touch the ground or foes. Yeah, I like that. So let's give that a shot. And then what is this? Seekers are bombs that cruise. Let's just keep with this then. Um, and then finally, let's upgrade our ink tank too. I want to give that a shot. I wonder, like once again, I do not know if this stuff affects online play. Um, I really hope it does though. Switch bombs with that. Okay, then I'll give that a shot right now. Um, 
It won't let me. I'm pressing these buttons. Okay, there we go. So let's go into area number two. What can lead us here? Like, what is going to be here? I'm really excited. Whoa, it's like an abandoned skate park. Now this is cool. I love how they're sort of rounded off in these interactive hubs. This, this game is really ingenious at times. But we need to save six more zapfish this time, which means we need to spray all over the place if we want to find those little tankards. And here they are. Here's one of them at the least. Um, Just try to get it. Come on, let's get up there. There we go. Boom. Propeller Lift Playground, Whispers on the Wild. So th this isn't exactly level uh, four, I think. We need four or five, so I'm gonna keep looking for them. All right, found number four, Gusher Gauntlet. Take to the skies, let's go. Ooh, these guys again, take him out. Shoot the, a gusher to make it burst skyward. So satisfying, I agree, I agree indeed. And what is it, oh, oh, that's the gusher. I thought that's who we just killed. But whoa, okay, then let's go, whoa, awesome. That's really cool, I like that a lot. All right, now let's get this checkpoint and keep going to this music, it's really interesting. The soundtrack, I have to get the soundtrack sometime soon. It is beautiful, uh, most of that bomb. Oh, I missed though. Uh, let's try that again, boom, got you that time. Took out the box around you at the least. Um, got you that, just like that, and then, uh, bomb. Oh, wait, 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 nope, nope, I missed it. Uh, bomb, haha, <laughs> how did that feel? It landed right on him, but it didn't actually damage him. Hmm, that is interesting. Let's go over here, and then, uh, boom, and then, ooh, catch, haha, <laughs> you went sky high. Launch pad, dead ahead, but what about this stuff? I wanna at least break these open. It looks like it doesn't actually get me any, uh, stuff, though, so let's just do it for fun, though. Hooray, <laughs> for fun! All right, then let's go over here and, ooh, ooh, an octo stamp. <laughs> wait, 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 oh no, oh gosh, what is this? Oh no, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, how do I take this guy out? He's too tough for me. Oh, there you go, take out his, his wiggly backside. Um, ouch, oh, ooh, got him, okay, cool. Gotta make sure to take out every enemy so that we can get ourselves those orbs. So yeah, how far have you guys been in the story mode? I'd love to hear if you guys have actually completed it at this point since it's been out all weekend. I know a lot of people dedicated their entire weekend to playing the game and all that kind of cool stuff, which I ad admire, admire. I wish I could have too, but that's okay. Oh boy, take out that guy, get this going on, hop over here, and no, ooh, I almost fell, that wouldn't have been good. Let's go over here, and we took everything out there somehow, some way. Hey, wait, don't don't stop that, don't stop the fun. <laughs> let's keep going, no, 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 let's go back up, there we go, you gotta change out a squid form or you'll fall back down. Hmm, what is over there? Looks like nothing really, okay. Gotta make sure we find those scrolls, but we gotta go up this way, so let's go. Okay then, <laughs> this is so cool, I love it so much. Let's go over here, and then just take out all this stuff. Showtime, use the gushers, bucko, I'll do my best. Whoa, whoa, oh, they're charging at me. Okay, take them all out with the gushers, go, go, go. Ooh, gushers, it reminds me of the snack that you used to have as a kid, but that you eat too much of them and then your teeth really hurt because they're too darn sugary. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Okay then, um, let's try to get up here. Uh, but there we go, and then what is over here? Anything good? We gotta make sure we're diligent. We gotta make sure we can find that scroll. To now, now that we can upgrade the weapons with the scrolls, that is like even more of an incentive. So let's um, look around, nothing much. Okay then, let us hop into here and go. And then what is over here? Hmm, more oh Gosho's checkpoint, final checkpoint. Looks like we're about to reach the end then, maybe. And what is on the top though? Oh no, big guys, bomb, uh, bomb, and then bomb. So this bomb does have a more concise explosion. You have to land your target or it won't have much of a spread, which is something I'll keep in mind. Um, all right, let's go up here then, and then, ooh, what is up here? Wow, okay, this is like a tower. We gotta make sure that we're pretty diverse with this then, and make our way through all of it. Oh, looks like I did miss some stuff over there, so I'm, I'll be back over there for you, buddy. Or maybe I can do it from here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, did I get him? Not quite. Okay, I'm all in ink. So let me take out these guys who are just sort of sitting here trying to shoot at me. <laughs> Come on, fill up on here so that we can be, no, no, no! Oh gosh, this is what I get for being lazy. All right, we're back up here. We went over there and took out that guy. Not a big deal. So this is the wrong way from looking up. So I'm gonna go up this way, and there's this guy just chilling here like, oh, I'm bored. Oh, there it is, the scrolls. So there we go, just by being diligent, we were able to make our way over there and get the cool stuff, and then go on up here, and boom. All right, let's get the Zapfish. That was actually a pretty quick level overall, so let's get him. Zapfish acquired. Whoa, split, what is going on with this platoon logo there? I don't even know. <laughs> What's it matter? Okay, and there we go. 
Gusher Gauntlet completed with the scroll. This scroll was found in a deep rock layer. Its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic four versus four battle format had already been established at this age. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's just so much rich history in the world of Splatoon. But with that being said, we got our first level done of the first, or the first area we've been to after the first area, also known as the second area, to upgrade the gear we know all about that to spend power eggs that's what they're called so now we know they're called power learning so much stuff now the power eggs we've bought a whole bunch of cool gear at the shop so with that being said i'd to thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and share with your friends and family and comment in the comment section below if you've watched at this point make sure to comment upgrading because that's what we've been spending our, our day doing here is getting new costumes and upgrading our weapons and all that kind of cool stuff so make sure to comment upgrading to let me know that you've watched at the end and that you're a zebra tastic viewer i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.